for more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. The S&P 500 index undergoes a rebalancing process every three months. This process involves the addition of new companies to the index, which replaces existing members that no longer meet the eligibility criteria. This rebalancing is significant for investors, as it can influence stock prices and market dynamics. One company that has been eligible for inclusion in the S&P 500 for an extended period but has not yet made it onto the index is Palantir Technologies. With the next rebalancing scheduled for September 20th, the anticipation surrounding the rebalancing often leads to increased speculation and trading activity, making it a pivotal moment for potential investors. The eligibility requirements for inclusion in the S&P 500 encompass various factors such as market capitalization, profitability, stock liquidity, and corporate structure. This discussion will primarily focus on the profitability criteria, which is a crucial aspect of a company's eligibility. To be eligible for the S&P 500, a company must demonstrate profitability over the previous four quarters, with a specific requirement to generate a profit in the most recent quarter. This criterion ensures that only financially stable companies are considered for inclusion. To clarify further, this means that a business could experience financial losses for three consecutive quarters, but then generate a substantial profit in the fourth quarter. If that profit is large enough, it can result in a positive net sum for the past 12 months. This flexibility in the profitability requirement allows companies with cyclical business models to qualify if they can show strong performance in their most recent financial period. A closer look at Palantir's financial performance reveals that it has generated positive net income on a generally accepted accounting principle principles basis for seven consecutive quarters. This consistent profitability indicates that the company has effectively managed its operations and expenses, showcasing its ability to operate profitably over time. However, despite these impressive financial results, there may be significant reasons why Palantir has not yet been selected for the S&P 500, even with its increasing profit levels. The decision-making process for inclusion is complex and may involve various factors beyond just profitability. While it's not possible to definitively state why Palantir has not been chosen, an insightful observation made by a fellow analyst in March pointed to potential influences driving the decision. The technology sector has been experiencing rapid changes, and companies that can adapt to these shifts are often favored for inclusion. Artificial intelligence has undoubtedly been a major catalyst for the technology sector over the past two years. Palantir's enterprise software platforms, which specialize in big data analytics, have experienced surging demand due Due to substantial investments in artificial intelligence, this growing interest in artificial intelligence has positioned Palantir as a key player in a rapidly evolving market. Palantir's revenue growth has accelerated significantly over the last two years, reflecting the increasing demand for its services. Moreover, this newfound artificial intelligence-driven growth has contributed to sustained profitability, allowing the company to strengthen its financial position. The charts illustrating Palantir's revenue growth clearly demonstrate the upward trajectory of the company's performance, reinforcing its potential for future success. Another potential concern regarding Palantir's inclusion in the S&P 500 is its heavy reliance on large government contracts. Government deals are often unpredictable and inconsistent, making it challenging to forecast a company's future growth trajectory. This dependency on government contracts can introduce volatility into Palantir's revenue streams, which may raise red flags for decision makers evaluating the company's stability and growth prospects. The technology landscape is continually evolving, and companies that can innovate and adapt are likely to thrive in the long run. Earlier this year, information technology architecture specialist Super Microcomputer was added to the S&P 500. Similar to Palantir, Super Microcomputer has entered a new growth phase largely driven by substantial investments in artificial intelligence infrastructure, such as data centers. However, unlike Palantir, Super Microcomputer's gross margin and profit levels are quite inconsistent. Despite this inconsistency, the company still secured a spot in the S&P 500 before Palantir. This raises questions about the criteria used for inclusion and whether Palantir's strong profitability is being overlooked. Additionally, management at major technology companies such as Amazon, Alphabet, and Microsoft anticipate continued increases in capital expenditure investments. These investments are essential for driving innovation and supporting growth in the technology sector. As these companies expand their capabilities, they create a ripple effect that can benefit other players in the industry, including Palantir. 
Concerns about the long-term sustainability of Palantir's growth appear exaggerated and should be dismissed. The company's ability to leverage artificial intelligence and big data analytics positions it well for future success. Whether to invest in Palantir before the next S&P 500 rebalancing ultimately depends on individual risk tolerance. For investors willing to take on some risk, it would not be surprising to see Palantir shares gain momentum as September 20th approaches. However, investing in momentum stocks can be risky and potentially leave investors holding overvalued shares. It is crucial to remember that Palantir is a growth stock and experiences greater volatility compared to more established companies. Furthermore, Palantir stock is not inexpensive, considering its forward price-to-earnings ratio of 89.5 times. This high valuation may deter some investors, but it also reflects the market's expectations for future growth. If Palantir finally secures a position in the S&P 500, investors may see some gains in their portfolios. However, a more prudent strategy might be to invest in Palantir using dollar cost averaging over an extended period. This approach allows for purchasing shares at various price points over time, which can help mitigate timing risks and reduce the impact of market volatility. Investors should focus less on specific dates when buying a stock and more on the long-term outlook, which is often more indicative of a company's potential. Palantir's future appears promising as the artificial intelligence revolution continues to unfold. The company's growth may be just beginning, with potentially significant gains ahead. As the demand for data analytics and artificial intelligence solutions continues to rise, Palantir is well positioned to capitalize on these trends. In conclusion, while the road to inclusion in the S&P 500 may be uncertain for Palantir, its strong financial performance, innovative technology, and growth potential make it an intriguing investment opportunity. Investors should carefully consider their risk tolerance and long-term strategy before making any decisions. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.